0.69 ERA in those two starts. Here's the 0-2, swing and a miss. In game one of the series, the 0-2 from Grundy called strike three. Another 0-2 to Alvarez, swing and a miss. Dug out by Fettis behind the plate, steps out in front, throws to Burnell at first, and there's one down. Five games he's played, make it eight, a swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch inside. And now the 0-2, a swing and a miss. He punches out the side of the second, make it five Ks for Grundy. Here's the kick in the two and two. Called strike three, fastball on the inner edge, frozen, and there's one down. One-two pitch, called strike three at the letter. Bernie continues to hold the runner over on the right corner. Coons on top of the line with a right-hander up at third, and they hit it right to him on one hop. Max has got it behind third, throws to first, and that's the top of the third. This was the third catcher last year. 2-2, two -two, and he swings and sends a high, lazy fly down the right field line. That ball falls in fair territory in the middle of three zips. Fettis has to hold it first. Here's the payoff to Rimbalak, and a swing and a line drive at first. Burnell is there to catch the soft liner, chest high, and there's one down. Arguing the strike zone doesn't allow you to stay very long. The 1-1, one -one, that ball lifted out into left center field, and Lucas Witt will come over from left to make the catch. And each team's had one runner today. The pitch, swing, and a miss. A three-pitch strikeout. That ends the fourth. Grundy has eight punch outs through four. But other than those two little blurps, he's been fine. Reed drives one here. Deep right field, it is gone. Way out of here. Almost to the football practice fields. Here's LaRocca who struck out on a 3-2 his first time up. Grounds this one to Kuhn at third. Even with the bag, Max scoops, throws over to Burnell and there's one gone. Grundy fires, and there's a ground ball sharply hit left of the second base bag, picked up by the shortstop Raider, throws to first, two away. Here's the one, two. That ball lined back up the middle and behind second. It's scooped up by JT Riddle, throws low at first, but Burnell there to dig it out in the SEC. Ole Miss at nine and one. Three, two, ground ball, right of second, backhanded by the second baseman Sheltron, leaps and throws, and behind second, the throw late. Here's the pitch, and there's a ground ball, weakly hit at third. Even with the bag, LaRocca's got it. Wild throw, though, at first, and it gets away. That allows Fettis to score. The stretch, he takes a look back at second. He fires to the plate, and a curve ball lifted out into center. Ahart gets a late break. That's going to fall in short center for a base hit. It'll score a run. His back shoulder, and here comes the 1-1, one -one, and that ball lifted in the air out into right center field. Long run for Ahart, and he makes a running catch in the right center field alley. And the pitch. And a swing and a hard hit ground ball into left field. They'll wave Brunel around third. Moss Barger bobbled it, trying to pick it up. That won't give him any chance to get Brunel, who scores from second base. Talked about that with me in the pregame show today, and he lines a one-hopper past Rimbalak, who tried to make the diving stop. Here's the 1-0. Reed swings. There's a line drive and a short right that's down for a hit. Fettis will score. Cousineau comes in from second for Stewart, the catcher, and the pitch, and he grounds one back up the middle. Nice diving stab by Riddle. Tries to go to Reyna, and he'll make sure he gets one. From Brian Station, who we saw earlier in the week, 2-0. That ball hit high in the air into the left center field alley. Cousineau slaps his right leg three times. The center fielder makes the catch, and that seals up a game two win for Kentucky and a series victory for the Wildcats as they take the second game of this three-game series over the Zips, seven to nothing.